Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you haven't been watching the channel very long, you probably have not seen this guy. This is my buddy, Chris, and we have gone rock hounding in the past. Yes, we it's have. It's been a couple of years. A couple of years ago, A couple yeah. of years. We were in eastern Washington. I would say central. 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 Cent okay. Yeah, we were out, out in the greater Red Top area. That yes. was a lot of fun. Yes. And you have a YouTube channel. It's Old Guy Adventures. Yes. Which, it's a great, great YouTube channel. I'm going to put a... There'll be a link down below. You do rock hounding stuff just like I do. Yes. And you cut and polish stuff, but you don't usually show it. No. But you do. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I mean, that, I feel that's like the natural sure. progression. Like, if you're picking it up, you got to do something with it, right? Yes, yes. Or throw it in your rock pile. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we are out and about today. Oh, yes. <laughs> you're feeling left out. Um, we are in the Olympic Peninsula, and it's important to maybe draw the distinction between the National Park and the National Forest. Oh, yes. So yes. there is the Olympic National Park, which we are not in, yes. and then we're in the, we are in the National Forest. Yes, the park um, on the other side of those mountains up uh -huh. there. So we are definitely, uh, when you see roads and stuff, you're in the National Forest. Cool. And... Um, yeah, we're up here. I'm going to be showing Jared uh, some nice big jasper. Pro too big to take home jaspers. Yes. But it's still really fun to see giant oh, gosh, things. Yes, yes. And uh, this whole area in here, there's a lot of material. I mean, this is, you could rock hound for the rest of your life here. It's uh, obviously it's, very thick, dense vegetation oh, back gosh. here that does not seem very enjoyable to go tromping through, especially no. with uh, a dog. But, no. <laughs> Because most times you can't see 30 feet in front of you. Yeah. And, um, you know, you can sneak up on stuff pretty easy in this country here. But, yeah, uh, right below us here we have a stream. And mm -hmm. it's still running pretty good. And there's good stuff in that stream. But right over behind us here we have this other stream, which I'm going to be taking you up. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be showing you where some big stuff is beautiful. Some of it's real beautiful. Some of it's not, so I mean that's just the way. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Way it is. It'll be good, and it, it, it does look like we court. We didn't try to coordinate outfits today; it just so <laughs> happened to be that way. <laughs> that's just the way it is, you know. <laughs> I mean, I forgot my Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. You know, but, well, yeah. Next time we'll, we'll have to we'll have to match up the Hawaiian shirts. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I think uh, we should go load up, and we're going to tromp off into the woods, and we're going to find some cool rocks. Oh yes, yes. Heck yeah, awesome. Well, I'm looking forward gonna, to it. Hopefully, I can impress you. <laughs> Um, in the Olympics, that it will sink out like that because you got all the glacial till, mm -hmm. you got all the, you know, the bedrock from the streams and stuff. So when you start off of a stream like this and you see it do that, you may rock down down there and you won't find anything. Yeah. But always remember that whatever you're looking for is usually heavier than you know this other rock mm -hmm. so if you can get to where the slope is below the slope get into the certain zone you will find stuff and um, i see one little piece of jasper right here <laughs> yeah there's a lot of just little brick red pieces it looks like that's probably something that i was up here before and it broke off mm -hmm. there was a big one right here and uh, we took pieces of it and that might be what was hmm. left so this right here is a really big jasper. <laughs> and you can kind of see the color in this. Very large. I mean, look at that tree that grew on top of it. Yeah. It's been there a while. And you got this one over here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's very huge. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, Sarah, you might have to bring the dog over there for some scale. That is... Uh, that is such a huge red piece of jasper. Okay, now turn around and look. Can you see my truck? Just barely between. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so there is uh, big stuff alongside roads. Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, so big. Makes you wonder. Let's go. What? Oh, there's. Yeah, let's go on up. Mm -hmm. These are big, but you just wait. Yeah, let's uh, let's continue up a little. This way, yeah. or oh, this way. We'll follow you. Okay. It's incredibly beautiful in here, and so out of the 
norm for what we usually go to. Yeah, it's, uh, I consider myself very blessed living here. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, it's just, uh, when you come in here rock pounding, you know, you're in quiet. I mean, you got waterfalls every, you know, every little bit. Mm -hmm. This is really something when the water's really flowing. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd want to be out here, though, on those days where it's like one inch of rain comes down. Well... That sounds less enjoyable. Yeah, it is, but, you know... <laughs> it's a trade-off. I grew up that way, so, <laughs> you know, I'm used to it. This stream here, I have found stuff that's, um, I call it porcelain jasper. And it comes in nodules. It'll be in the basalt like this. And sometimes there'll be like a, a it'll be almost like a pitcher. Mm -hmm. But boy, when you polish it, it's just like uh, porcelain. Um, it's very rare I find something that I want to take home, but when I do, it's pretty nice. And on this area in here, you can find, um, like I told you, the, the quartz. Just some beautiful quartz. All of sorts of colors and uh, and of course this jasper here and um, quartz epidome mm -hmm. and green jaspers the, you can find green jaspers with dendrites in the the, the quartz and epidote is beautiful it takes a great polish oh yeah yeah so. and if you really wanted to go on a stream that has lots of that where you just pick it up uh, the ducka bush okay all the way down to the, the mouth so we'll continue on up. Is that a, I think I see a piece of jasper right above that little waterfall. Is that probably? That red, red? Yeah, I think so. There's one right there, and right behind it is a humongous one. Well, these are uh, big enough to where they stay in place. <laughs> yes. big one's really up there. So we have a piece there, a piece there, and I think that kind of shows through the water. The giant piece there, a nice beet red one right, right there. Let's see, can we get closer without getting wet? Yeah. Very cool to see. There's so much. Yeah. So much. Light's catching that. Not moving though. <laughs> yeah, the cameras don't give the thickness of this place any any it doesn't do it any justice. No, this place is it's cool. like so difficult to walk through. Now there's rocks, you can see there's a big rock there. Yeah. And all over this hillside. And when you're walking through all the time when I come through. I always just take a piece, look, mm -hmm. and then I just covered it back up. But as you can see here, you know, so, there's some good red down here. Jasper with manganese. 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 Yeah, you start getting that dark in there. And, uh, yeah, when you polish that, it'll look metallic. Yeah, it's hard to, hard to see in this shaded forest light. Oh, but. yeah. That's why they call it a dark forest. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, yeah. That there, though, I mean, you walk around that, you mm -hmm. wouldn't notice that, but you peel off of, you know, something, and it's like that um, all through here. Yeah. I was talking to a, an old-timer here, I don't know, last year, last summer, and he said he was walking out here, and he found something about this size, and it was a glassy purple. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And when we get down below, I'll show you something purple. So. Yeah, it's interesting. We're only like 30 feet from the road and you can barely see it going through the yeah through the through the road here yeah you you i mean this <laughs> yeah it's so thick yeah it's so thick so all right let's, let's continue on that was incredibly cool to see jaspers of that size so right now we are heading down to another locality that Chris knows about. And uh, this is a very interesting experience being out here tromping through this thick woods. You know, we're so used to 
doing desert hounding, going to these different locations like Saddle Mountain, uh, places in Oregon and in Utah where you're just, it's very, very different, high desert, massively abundant stuff that's more manageable. Uh, I picked up a couple of rocks up there that were like this big and it weren't, oak, weren't very good. All of the really good stuff was like car size, which that's wild. Wild to see people always say stuff like, oh, I find agates and jasper the size of a VW bug. Like that's a good reference, but uh, there you go. Those ones up there, <laughs> definitely heavier than one. So we'll catch up with you at the next location. I'm gonna come down here and check out the river. I've already seen from the road some incredibly large pieces of jasper. Way too big to uh, pick up. Hopefully there's at least one thing that's at least, oh, somewhat manageable. You can kind of see right there above Chris's head, there's two giant jaspers out there. Right, those two. And this gets deep quick. Hey, you know that one? Yeah, yeah, those are impressive. So what do you think? Go upstream. Upstream's better. Yeah, you won't be able. There's a deep hole down there. Okay. It's very good for photographs. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not going to get through it. So yeah, you might want to. We'll go up this way. Yeah, go up this way. I'm going to kind of be out in here. But, um, very nice find. Yeah. So I found this uh, back watching where Chris was walking and. He probably intentionally left it there for me to find. Sure. That's why I always, I always <laughs> want the people to find. But uh, this is like the the little the little version of that one out there. Yeah. Impre Actually, that one there's by far better. <laughs> what I have found when you get to colors like this, they just they just solid that, and they're just not that yeah. interesting. This one here's got manganese. You're going to get some. Yeah. Interesting stuff out of that one. It, and best of all, it'll fit in my saw. Sure. You know, that that's fine if you have like a 36 inch drop saw and a backhoe to move it, but yeah, I mean, in lieu of that. If you can look, that thing goes all the way out over the Yeah, tree. that's, and who knows how deep that goes. Oh, yeah. It's so. Probably sitting in there. Yeah. Hey, Sarah, could you drop this in my backpack? Ah, look what I just found. Piece of green job. Oh, wow. Yeah. There. Oh, oh, wow. That's so cool. There. Take that one home with you. That is so nice. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's a nice shape on that cut. Yeah, yeah that's like the perfect, uh, perfect rock for cutting. There you go, see? You're gonna have to drop that in my backpack too. Yeah, that's so huge. We got Apido, and there's, I guess, some brick red. I'll set that right there for somebody. Beautiful in here. Can you see right in the middle of your screen a little red dot? That's probably a 20 inch ish, at least well over a foot, almost two foot Jasper out in the middle of the river. If there is ever a river to have like a walking stick, it would be this one. We've got a big, big gravel bar right over there. There's a little bright red piece that Chris just tossed over to me because he's 
out there beyond my boot depth. Oh, is he gonna get it? Oh, wow. Oh, you gotta carry it over now. That's your new Jasper baby. Is that worth taking, you think? Oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I found uh, on the Skykomish a piece of Jasper that looks identical to that in pattern, but maybe it's like uh, one quarter of that in size. Yeah. So that's a beautiful piece. Look at that. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah, there's no fractures. No, that's when you, like if you're finding stuff up off the sides, uh -huh. you're going to find fracture, but if it's down in these streams. Yeah, it's already fractured off. Any yes. like weak points, it's done. Yeah, especially something like that. That's so cool. That is gorgeous. I wonder if I can set it over here and give me a small hunk of it or something. But you don't want to put it in your backpack? No. <laughs> Better off to uh, fracture it up at home, right? Well, that would be nice, but, <laughs> you know. Uh, well, you're a young man. You'd probably take that one out. I mean, I'm old. <laughs> yeah, that's a very impressive piece. Yeah. That was amazing. Yes. And it's so cool to see these like giant pieces of Jasper. I got some pieces that are not giant, but yeah, you know, they're good, still, yeah. re they're really nice. They're really beautiful. And we're going to take these back into the shop and we're going to cut them up and polish them up and it's going to look awesome. Uh, Chris also gave me some Jaspers that you've collected over, over, yes, over, over history. Like, yeah, you down know, here. we're going to look at some of those too back in the shop, all cleaned up and sure. wet. It would look really, really good. Um, I appreciate this. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yeah, it was very nice seeing you again. Yeah. Catching up and uh, being able to see some giants and find a couple of couple of littles out yeah. here. Yeah. Just beautiful country here. Mm -hmm. It's just being out here is just worth it. It is the end of July, which is pretty much, it's like perfect. It's what, like 65 degrees today. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard to beat when you come from like the desert and it's just oppressive right now. Yeah. So this is awesome. Awesome. And definitely go check out Chris's YouTube channel, Old Guy Adventures. Yeah. There'll be some links. Sure. Any other, any other, any last words? Last words? No, last really. So we found what we yeah, came looking good. for. It's and, great. Uh, it's always good. Yeah. Well, thank you once again. It's Thanks. Sure. Well, we are back from hanging out with Chris out on the Olympic Peninsula. It was a lot of fun. It's always good to catch up with people that you've, gone rock hounding with in the past he did give me a bunch of rocks here and we'll look at those uh a bunch of different jaspers and stuff that he has uh collected which is quite cool to see uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah there we go yeah some very nice pieces some very colorful pieces A lot, a lot of stuff here, a lot of stuff. Um, let's uh, pull this one up here. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting Jaspers out there. And maybe we'll, we'll save the rest of those. We'll look at those at a later time. We did, uh, we did find a couple of nice bright red jaspers which i will have to cut but we can just kind of see these very beautiful pieces and this nice green one which that will have to go in the saw and get cut i think it might um cut it like that i think that would be a good angle for it. i mean it is quite perfect for uh cutting what did you think of going out with uh, with with Chris? I mean, it was I thought it was kind of pretty good. 
yeah, it's always nice to go somewhere with someone who knows where we are. He's definitely an expert on the Olympic Peninsula. I mean, it was cool to be kind of guided, guided around, and uh, we got to see some beyond giant jaspers. I mean, uh, well, here, he took this photo of me standing next to one, and it's massive. I mean, it, it's just it, a mind-blowing size. Or the ones that we saw in the actual river, and you're just like, it, it, you, it, you can't, the camera doesn't capture it. When you're standing next to something that is thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds, you're just like, well, it's kind of good in a way. It's good in a way because it's something you just look at and you leave it. You don't have to collect anything. You don't have to take anything at home. You just enjoy it. You're like, wow, that's really big. Yeah. It's cool to see the big, real big pieces and found some little good ones. And clearly there's a lot else out there that we didn't scratch the surface of. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy. I'm going to chop that guy up. And I think that one will look good. Well, I probably won't cut it up too much. I'll probably do some face cuts on it. It'll, it'll, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. Well, big shout out to everybody over on Patreon who make this type of content possible. Go check it out. There's a link down below to that. There will be a link down below to Chris's channel as well. Chris has a ton of good videos. I, I, I really like the type of content that he makes, and I think you will enjoy it as well. And with that said, we'll leave this one here, everybody. Thank you for uh, coming by and uh, hanging out and watching.